Hey guys, sup, 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 Ray here for the Yu Gi Oh! Council, and welcome to a brand new Tech Tuesday. And this name comes from Hoka TV and Alex. It was both of their ideas. Hoka TV is one of the council members, and Alex is a subscriber. See, I listen to subscribers. Alright, so let's go straight into Tech Tuesday number two. And this is, it comes out of Dragons of Legend. And this is Construction Train Signal Red. Now, the reason we're talking about this card, and a lot of you may be just sitting around with this card going, well, I pulled that out, but I think it's junk. Let me uh, be the one to say it's not. Basically, in a way, gadgets could have their own, you know, kind of, uh, I want to say battle fader in a way, but it's not really battle fader. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, change attack target to this target, and proceed to damage calculation. This card cannot be destroyed by that battle. So it takes two battles to kill this thing. It's a level 3, so it's flexibility with rank 3s comes out. It's also not a tuner, so if you have a tuner, you can use said tuner to make a level 5 synchro, level 8 synchro. If you have a level 5 or you're playing that tuning deck, you know, you're playing that you're playing that quick draw deck. If you have something like Stardust against Lightshorn, or even Artifacts, and they bring out a monster big enough to deal with Stardust, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to summon Construction Red. Now, let's have Void Ogre here be the example. Now, if they're attacking Stardust, the attack target will now change to Signal Red. So they have to attack Signal Red. Goes to damage calculation, but Signal Red survives that battle. Now, if they have two monsters, they're going to have to attack that. In this case, it's not so useful, but if, for those one monster battles, it's pretty useful. And when you take in, the, uh, take in the effect that it's a machine, could be using something like Cyber Dragons, or even gadgets because it can search out by Geargan X and it's level 3 which allows a lot of flexibility now you're probably going but Ryu Cyber Dragons really don't play tuners you can play something like Vylon Cube which Miss Valley Master did and go for a level 6 synchro and now you're probably also saying but level 6 synchros ain't that good you know what that's fine I, I agree they're not super duper good but you know what else you could do you can actually have the Vylon Cube right Summon up the Violon Q Construction Signal Red and go into Lavier. And then you can grab your Cyber Dragon and whatnot back. There's a lot of plays you can do with this guy. He's Earth, so if you do have a level 3 tuner, you know, you're playing that Quasar deck, you can use him and the level 3 tuner to go to Terry or Barkeon. So while you're making Quasar, you're perfectly safe from all the back row that you probably will be experiencing. Now, if you really want to get Saki. <laughs> You really, 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 really want to get Saki, you could play this in Girgia. Because he is level 3 and Girgia can handle the level. I mean, it doesn't have the best stats at 1000 attack and 1300 defense. I'm not going to be the one to lie to you and say, no, it's great. You know, it's a good option. But this falls under the same category as Rainbow Karibo. It's good for certain things. But honestly, I feel Rainbow Karibo is still a better option. But guess what this falls under? The better, better, the better budget option. Rainbow Karibo are like 10 apiece. Now this guy, you can actually get for a dollar or fifty cents at your locals, whatever it may be, whatever your locals charges for that hidden arsenal esque, you know, kind of card. Usually like a dollar on eBay. So if you've been looking for that, you know, kind of defense thing, and you're a budget player, because I don't leave out budget players, then you can actually play this and go, oh, bah, you can't destroy my monster. I want to protect that Levier, so I can go into that Inferni combo, which I wouldn't really do that, but you get the point. It's just, it's funny stuff. I mean, there are times you want to protect monsters, and this is another one of those options. And this does carry the benefit over Battle Fader. It's like, I want to protect my monster. And then the attack shifts into him, and he's not destroyed. So this makes for good tech in Monarchs as well, you know. Maybe I don't want them attacking that Line Darkness at the moment. I need him on the field, and he's fully negated. Keep in mind, he's fully negated. It's like, okay, drop. <laughs> I don't want them attacking my Azurize or my Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, my Dragon deck, or my Dragon Ruler deck. Drop. <laughs> I don't want them attacking my Yamato because I don't have one of my seven freaking honest. One of those being Sinyoi, Sinyu, S I N Y O U. It's uh, the new Bujin Exceed. Uh, Bujin we showed it on Coffee Time yesterday. Um, but exceed. The new Bujin exclusive, that's what I mean to say. And basically, you banish it out of your graveyard and you get that honest effect. You don't have that crane or honest. It's like, I don't want you attacking your mono. I don't want you attacking my Garunix with that Crimson Blader. 
you know, th this is great tech for those kinds of decks that you don't want, you know, just, I don't want you attacking me. I don't want you attacking me right now. I want to protect my Drago Sack from your Crimson Blader. Because for some reason, you affect Bellard me and you sacked me, so I sacked you back. You know, it's little things like that where tech cards really do shine. And this is one that you shouldn't really overlook. I mean, I was going to talk about the Psychroid, but I think the Psychroid's pretty obvious. You know, the one that comes out of the same set is that it's just an Interior Barking On, you know, or a Gyrgia thing. But this also, too, is a Gyrgia thing. I mean, you know, it's it's level 3, so you got to make do what you can make do with it. You can make that Zen Mains all day. That Zen Mains. I believe you can also use this in wind-ups. I may be mistaken. You know, you want to protect your... You know, you just made your, like, super-duper freaking, um, like, three monster combo while soul charges. That's what wind-ups do. And it's like, you want to protect that. You're not getting through. I'm protecting that. I'm going to take you down. I want to protect my Stardust, my Scrap Dragon, my whatever. You know, whatever it is that you want to protect today. You want to protect Armadades. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> Survive the battle. And then just go into like a rank 3 or a level 3 exceed or something. As long as you can play off him, he's a good option. If you can't play off him, he's not a good option. But he does make for a nice tech card. He is machine. So if you're playing that Overlord Fusion deck, that Overlord Fusion dot deck, he is one more machine you could actually run. And he does give you a little bit of defense. It's only it's it's when an opponent's monster declares an attack, so it doesn't it doesn't care how it declares the attack, as long as it declares the attack. If you really want to get sacky, you could just throw it in Light Sworn because Light Sworn, you know, you could use this with Redox. Not that I'm, not that I'm advising it. I'm just saying you can use it with Redox. You know, Redox target bash it out of the graveyard. You can protect that card trooper or that Lumina that that is super important, and then go into that Levy Air to get that Necro Gardener back, and then use that Necro Gardener to go into something else. The Lumina loops. Now, if just let me mention real quick. I know we're talking about this here. If anything I said loop wise you don't understand or you don't like you you know you're curious about it and you want the video on it just just ask me and I'll do it for you guys you know I love you guys and I'll do it but um credit do go do go to the people who basically came up with the loops enough said the Lumen loop I think that one was mine um on the old channel though I think it was like one of the earlier guys to um do that but you know it's just a thing I mean he is a good defense card and then you can just play like I said it's like Insufusion Go with that rank three. You know, you could play him in Ghost Tricks, but Ghost Tricks got enough stop power. I kind of wish Ghost Tricks had like more of a boss monster, honestly. But you know, this isn't something that you want to play on. Uh, you know, you you don't want to you don't want to pay a thousand to bring him back. So that's kind of something that's negative about him when you think about it. But it's not really something you would ever really do. Just saying. But he is a great option, you know, and he's only like a dollar, so. If you're in that budget tier class of players, it's it's perfectly fun. There's nothing wrong. You could play this guy right here. I would not suggest this, uh, playing this in like GBs or anything like that. You want the attacks pretty much to go through, and you really you know you gotta have a deck that's gonna have synergy with this guy. But otherwise, than that he makes a great card, and that's why we talked about him on Tech Tuesday. If you want to see more Tech Tuesday, leave it in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, you gotta hit that subscribe button. It's like the, a button like this, and it's straight down there. It's bright red. You can't miss it. And I will catch you guys next video. Make sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a comment on your thoughts about this and what you want to see on the next Tech Tuesday. I'm Ryu for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.